Right, on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the final two Fright Rags lunchboxes from the series. And as far as I'm aware, I have got the full run. I think there is only four of them. And I posted that on Instagram, and Fright Rags actually did comment saying that they were going to be releasing some next year. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that comes out. But as of now, there is only four as far as I'm aware. And the first up, we'll take a look at the Night of the Living Dead. And I've got to be honest, this is my least favourite of the series, just because Night of the Living Dead is not my favourite of, of the Dead series. And yeah, this was the completionist in me. Like, I I had the other three, so I just found this on Vinted for a good price. I ended up getting it for like 22 quid, same as Halloween. And yeah, for 22 quid, I'll complete the set. But the artwork's lovely. It's by Justin Osborne. And as I say, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad release by any means. It is still sick, um, but it's just not one I would have picked up unless I had the others really. Um, but let's take a look at it anyway. First up, we'll take a look at the thermos, which is just the same artwork, and yeah, man, I really like that. That artwork so sick, and I think it was done for a T-shirt for Fright Rags in twenty twenty one. I'm pretty sure. Um, but like I say, it was just an Osborne who's done it, and you got that there. They won't stay dead. That's a really cool shot, man. I love that artwork. And then obviously you do the same artwork each side, and oh, no, every time. And you've got the details there. Nice living dead, fright rags, all that, all that malarkey. Um, but yeah, man, like I say. Night of the Living Dead isn't my favourite of the series, so this was the completionist in me that grabbed this, but it's still absolutely stunning. And yeah, man, this is such a, a fun little collectible to get involved with, and yeah, I'm really hoping they do actually release more because the the proper quality. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at the next one. And next up, we have this absolutely beautiful piece and it's John Carpenter's The Thing. And fuck me, this artwork is next level, man. It's so good. But yeah, we'll take a look at the thermos, which obviously, I understand why they've gone with that. It feels quite wasted when the artwork on that is that good to just have the outpost uh, patch. But do you know what? It is what it is, man. It's, it's, still, it's still cool enough. Fairly basic compared to the others, but you know what, man? When that looks that good, man, yeah, I've got no complaints at all. So you've got that, which is just fucking glorious, man. Absolutely stunning. And you've got classic Drew Struzan artwork, the ultimate and alien terror. Same that side, which again, probably could have, when that is that good, probably could have went with something different there. Yeah, and this is the latest one as well. This has only just come out as well. So I managed to find a pre-order for this for a big bad toy store. And I avoided customs and all the rest of it. So it didn't come out at too bad of a price, to be honest. I think it was like 35 quid all in, which, yeah, man, I'm all right with that. But I've had this pre-ordered for a while, to be honest. And, yeah, I'm not sure if this is an exclusive. I feel like it was sort of like a fandom exclusive, if I remember rightly. But... I'm not sure if that's a convention or what. I can't really... Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, man, I just love that Justin Osborne artwork. It's fucking stunning, man. And yeah, the dog's embossed. And the lantern is embossed. They're the only two bits that are embossed on that piece. Um, and yeah, I managed to see the thing on the big screen again on the 1st of October. And mate, it was just just an absolute masterpiece in suspense building and tension. It's just it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, it just gets better every time you watch it, man. So yeah, this was an absolute must as soon as I've seen this. Right, and there they are. And as a set, mate, they are fucking stunning. I'm so happy I actually managed to track all them down because they look so good together, dude. I'm really fucking happy with that. And like I say, not that it stands out on being bad or anything, because the Night of the Living Dead one's still so sick, and I actually really like the, the faded green colour. I think that's nice, man. I'm really happy with the colour scheme on that, which obviously it was going to be 
black and green, but I, I think the the tone of the green is is quite faint and it it looks sick like. Um, but yeah, when you see them all lined up, man, that's that's a glorious set, absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, man, John Carpenter's the thing, trick or treat, night of the living dead, and Halloween. And yeah, I've got to be honest, I still think my favourite of the bunch is the Halloween. I just think that artwork and that colour scheme works perfectly. Um, so yeah, it, it's a phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal set of like collectibles, lunchboxes, whatever. <laughs> it looks sick, man. Um, but yeah, happy to call it a day on them now. And with Fright Eggs commenting that they were going to make more, I know Justin Osborne done the uh, American Werewolf in London artwork for Fright Rags, and that was also used on the Necha Kessler Wolf. And just want to say that's one I really want if, if Fright Rags are going to release more next year i'm really hoping they go with that justin osborne um american werewolf in london because that is fucking stunning man such a an amazing piece and that black and purple color scheme it looks sick on one of these as well um so yeah i'm hoping for american werewolf in london and obviously a texas chainsaw massacre because i mean yeah that would look fucking sick lined up um but yeah Thanks for checking the video out. If you did enjoy it, like it, subscribe to the channel, share it around. That would be massively appreciated. And yeah, see you in the next video. Nice one.